Welcome back to an otherwise quiet room. If you don't know me, I'm Mandy Connell, the host, and this is an audiovisual series where I interview and sing duets with different artists from around the world. This next episode is filmed live at Newstead Live Music Weekend in January 2019, and I absolutely love this festival, so I'm so pleased to bring you guys clips from it. If you love our series, please check us out at anotherwisequietroom.com.au. You can read chapters of the book. You can find us on our new podcasting medium. Just Google an otherwise quiet room podcast. You'll get there. And if you love us, please hit subscribe on Instagram or on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the other side. So here we are at Newstead Live for 2019 with festival director Kelly Skinner. Hi, Mandy. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? I mean, I think, is this your third festival? This is my third complete festival. Yep. Um, and it feels like yesterday. Like, But I feel like I'm now it's kind of getting to be my festival. I understand it. <laughs> <laughs> it helps to know it, I think. Yeah, yeah definitely. But you've um, there's been a lot of changes, but it kind of the energy has stayed the same. Can you can you talk a bit about how you've made that happen? Being an old folkie myself, I've tried to make sure that we always have what the old folkies like, and that the troubadour look. It had to change because you can't replace Andrew and, and Heather. No. Um, but I've tried to keep as much of the nature of it as I can and still try and introduce a little bit of new energy, some new acts. Mm -hmm. um, I went down yesterday and saw the Afia band. They're, they're fantastic. They're, they're West African influence. Mm -hmm. um, so the lead singer is West African. The others are Motley Crue, but you know, but he's, they just had energy, good percussion. Yeah. Um, you know, I think sax and keys and... I love all the new acts and I love the new energy, but um, I think like what you say is true, you, the Troubadour is definitely the heart of, of the festival and at, as a venue it's kind of a, it's a centre pin for a lot of the punters that come yes, here yeah. all the time. And um, I guess there are a lot of people who follow an otherwise quiet room who don't know anything about the Troubadour. Can you tell us how the festival started as you understand it? Well, I mean it goes back 40 years really, the beginning of the Troubadour yeah. was in Bowen Crescent in South Melbourne, <laughs> and that's where I first played. And, and then Andrew moved to Brunswick and then he decided that making wine might be a nice thing to do so I popped off to the country as one does, as one does. Lansfield and, I think yeah started in Lansfield and decided also that um, music was still his thing and would have weekends you know put on a concert on a Saturday afternoon at the winery or something and often involved food because passion number three mm. um, and then he took the his that whole concept to Malden Folk Festival mm -hmm. and had the Troubadour tent there. Yeah. Um, he also took it to the National and then decided to have his very own festival and set that up in Tewton. Yes. Yeah, yep. in 2000, I think. I was there. It was <laughs> very hot that year. Yes. And yeah. the next year it was freezing cold. <laughs> yeah, it was Tewton. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Central Victoria. Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, for various reasons, he had to move out of Tewton and decided to come to Newstead. And I remember him joking once at one of the um, debriefing meetings after the festival, because I volunteered for him, of course, mm -hmm. um, when he told the others, Kelly's been waiting 35 years for me to bring a festival to her town. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, I mean, this really is your town too. I mean, you, you've, yeah. you've made a home here and you've obviously dug your heels right into the community, which is really fantastic. Yeah. That was the other um, hook that I had was um, musician, tick, my town, tick, yeah. um, and management skills, tick. Well, <laughs> from what I can see, you're doing an amazing job. Yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you for um, doing all the work that you do, helping run the team, and it's gotten s sort of so much bigger, and yet hasn't changed uh... this, this is the best job I've never been paid for you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's really excellent well we've had a great time we, we saw uh, Skip Gorman and oh. we saw Karen Fields aren't they wonderful absolutely just... and I checked out some of the live and local um, acts oh, good. Um, and I just there was a banjo player with amazing chops and <laughs> uh, and his his mate was playing steel guitar and I just lost my mind. I had a really great time. So thank you so much. And we, uh, we hope that 
these little episodes will, will air and people will check out Newstead Live Music Weekend. They'll be most welcome. Every January. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Mandy. Yeah. Thanks so much for listening to An Otherwise Quiet Room. I hope you've enjoyed these episodes. And if you have, please go to our website, anotherwisequietroom.com.au, hit subscribe on the YouTube channel or subscribe to our podcast. Just Google An Otherwise Quiet Room podcast, you'll get there. Thanks so much and I can't wait to bring you the next one.